Hey guys, Chris from Adaptuation here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution for question 2 from the Jan 2013 PUA paper 2. If you want to check out these solutions for the other questions on this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and the link in the description below. So be sure to check those out as well. And with that said, let's get into the question. Okay, so we have a partnership question, and it reads that the following information has been extracted from the books of Threeker and Waitley, who have been in partnership for several years. So the first thing they give us here is the partner's capital account balances at the 1st of January 2012. Threeker has 80,000, Waitley has 100,000. The next thing they give us is information about the partner's current account balances at 1 Jan 2012. So Threeker had a 4,800 credit balance, whereas Waitley has a 7,300 debit balance. So that's going to come into play a bit later on. The next thing they tell us about are the partner's drawings. Partners' drawings for the year ended 31st December 2012, Threeker 44,000, Wheatley 36,000. And they also tell us that the net profit for the year ended 31st December 2012 is 172,000. Hmm. All right, we have some more information down here. It says the partnership agreement between Threeker and Wheatley provides for the following. So the first item up here says partners are to receive interest at a rate of 10% per annum on their opening capital account balances. The next item up says interest at a rate of 5% per annum is to be charged on partners' drawings during the year. Thirdly, they're telling us that Waitley is to receive a partnership salary of 1500 per month, and they put per month in bold. That might be important. The fourth item they're talking about is that the balance of net profit or loss is to be transferred to the partners in the ratio 2 to 3. So that's the profit and loss sharing ratio. So we're going to make use of that a bit later on. Now, what are the requirements for this question? So part A with 8 marks says, prepare the partnership profit and loss appropriation account for the year ended 31st December 2012. The next item up says to prepare current accounts for the partnership as at 31st December 2012. That's worth 10 marks. And finally, they are asking here, share the profit of the business between Threeker and Waitley as if there was no partnership agreement. Well, you know something? I think I want to tackle that one first because that one is the easiest. Because if there's no partnership agreement, it means there's basically no appropriation to do. There's going to be no interest on drawings, no interest on capital, no salary, and you share profits and losses equally. So let's pull up the net profit of the partnership, which is $172,000. And let's pull up a little work on the side. So it says Threeker and Waitley share of profit where there's no partnership agreement for the year ended 31st December 2012. So we start with the profit to be shared. Threeker gets half of it. So you see 172 divided by two. And the same thing for Waitley. They share it equally. It ties back to 172 and there's nothing left to appropriate. It's all been shared between the partners. Okay, so with part C out of the way, let's get part A going. Okay, so of course, be sure to head up your appropriation account or any statement properly. Name of the entity, name of the statement, the period to which it applies. Now, the first item that goes in the appropriation account is, of course, the net profit of the entity for the year or the period under review. In this case, that's $172,000. Now, before we go any further and before I forget, if you are not familiar with partnership appropriation accounts, I'm going to put a card up there and the link in the description below. So be sure to check that out. And when you're comfortable with appropriation accounts, you can come back here. If you are currently comfortable with appropriation accounts for partnerships, let's, let's proceed. So the next thing we have to do is to add the interest on drawings. Now, the partner's drawings, according to the question, are 44,000 for Threeka and 36,000 for Wheatley. And the interest rate on the drawings is 5% per annum. Interest at a rate of 5% per annum is to be charged on partner's drawings. So all we have to do is multiply 5% by 44 for Threeka, multiply 5% for 36 for Wheatley, and that gives us, and of course, add those two figures together to get a subtotal of 4,000, which is then added to the net profit before appropriation to give us 176,000, which is now going to be appropriated between the partners. The first now, there truly is no order for the appropriation except for the fact that the share of profit or loss must come last, right? So I usually do my interest on capital first. Now, the capital balances for the partners were 80,000 for Threeker and Waitley was 100,000. The interest on the partner's capital balances was 10% per annum. 
So all we have to do is multiply 10% by 80,000 for Threeker, multiply 10% by 100,000 for Waitley, giving us a total interest on capital of 18,000. Now, I like to do salary next. And for salary, they did tell us down here that Waitley is to receive a partnership salary of 1,500 per month. I remember I said that per month was in bold and they would, that's going to be, of course, a point of interest because we are doing an appropriation account for a full year and a year consists of course of 12 months so if the, the salary is 1500 per month to find the annual or yearly salary we're simply going to have to multiply by 12. so you're seeing here working that says weekly 1500 by 12 which is 18,000. interestingly enough it's the same as the total for interest on capital Adding the two appropriation items together gives us 36,000 and we're subtracting that 36,000 from the 176 to get 140,000 which is the profit after appropriation which now has to be shared between the two partners. In what ratio? How are we sharing? Is it equal? No, because item 4 in the list of additional information here, or, or the information from the partnership agreement rather, says the balance of net profits or loss is to be transferred to the partners in the ratio 2 to 3. So what do we do with this ratio 2 to 3? We add the two numbers together. 2 plus 3 is 5. And then we put each number over the total, like almost like a common denominator, and we get a fraction. So it's a two-fifth three-fifths split for Threeka and Waitley respectively. So all we have to do is multiply the one-forty by two-fifths for Threeka, multiply it by three-fifths for Waitley, we get 56,000 for Threeka, 84,000 for Waitley. If you add those two figures together, you get back one-forty. And of course, when that's shared to the partners, there's nothing left in the appropriation account. Okay, let's take a look now at the current account. Okay, so before we jump into the question, I'm going to put a card up there and a link in the description below that will carry you to my partnership's current account video. So if you're not too familiar with current accounts, please check out that video and then come back here. If, of course, you are ready, willing and able to do the current accounts, let's go. So they did tell us across here that the partner's current account balances were 4,800 credit for Threeka and a debit of 7,300 for Waitley. So let's put those things in first. So we're going to put in three curves, sorry, Waitley zone of 7,300, sorry about that. And then three curve of 4,800. So of course, Waitley is on the debit side because it's a debit balance. Three curves on the credit side because it's a credit balance. Now, most, if not all of the other information that goes in the current accounts comes from the appropriation account because the current accounts show the earnings and withdrawals of the partners. What are those earnings? Well, interest on capital, salary, and the share of profit. Now, what are the withdrawals? The drawings figure and the interest on drawings. And now, to find the balance carried down, what we have to do for each partner is add up the earnings and subtract the withdrawals. So you're going to add up these figures here and subtract the corresponding debit figures at the three cost column. And you'll also do the same for Waitley. You'll add up Waitley's earnings and subtract the sum of Waitley's Wait, Waitley, sorry, withdrawals. So that's going to give us the two balances of 22,006 and 66,900 for Threeka and Waitley respectively. That of course is going to give us totals being the same on both sides and that the balance of course, balances of course, sorry, will be brought down on the credit side. And that's about it. Okay guys, so there you have it. That's the solution for question 2 in the Jan 2013 PUA Paper 2. If you have any questions on anything in this video, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you when I have a chance. If you want to check out any more videos, I'm going to put some cards up here. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to check out my website where you'll find some useful POA handles that are free to download. Anyway, guys, as per usual, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye.